Uh, first of all, I just want to, you know, I, I love sitting back here listening to these guys talk. And um, this, this senior group is just really a special, special group. Uh, really proud of how our guys played today. Um, you know, offense, defense, special teams. Uh, I thought we brought the fight. I thought we were the aggressor. Um, I thought we physically dominated the game. Uh, got after them pretty good. Uh, we always tend to make it interesting. Uh, but uh, I'm just really proud of these seniors and what they've, what they've meant to me personally. Uh, you know, the six young men that, uh, were, uh, that, that, that are finishing their last home game today that were in this room when I got here, they've been a part of really helping me and, and um, you know, changing a culture here. And I'm really proud of what they've been able to do. And, and uh, guys like, uh, you know, DJ Foster, you know, uh, DJ is uh, really special to me and I know special to this university in this valley because, um, you know, he's a young man that uh, right here locally uh, trusted us and uh, <coughs> has um, had an unbelievable career. I think it was his 51st um, game with a catch. That's a, that's a whole lot of games to start. Uh, and uh, I loved it. Uh, they were at interviewing him, and he was, they were saying, uh, you know, what would you tell someone here in this valley, a young man, about uh, – uh, what would, uh, what, 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 you know, what is it like to go to ASU? And he said, well, if you want to be a man, you come to ASU. And he said, because I've become a man. And that, that really made me feel good because I know what he's talking about. Um, I'm really proud of the, you know, uh, Kareem scores, great interception, and he gets a penalty, which I was, boy, I was, I was searching him out, and I couldn't get to him because all the other guys were, were already uh, letting him know we don't do that. But uh, just really proud. Really proud of uh, uh, Lloyd. You know, me and Lloyd go way back. Um, Lloyd's been with me five years. You know, I recruited Lloyd to Pitt um, uh, from the same hometown. Grew up probably about three miles apart, something like that. And, um, and I'm going to miss Lloyd. Really going to miss Lloyd. Um, we got a couple more games left, but uh, uh, I was really uh, – you know, my son caught the game-winning pass his senior year in high school against Lake Highlands when I was the head coach, and I almost had a tear in my eye. And uh, I almost had a tear in my eye today when Lloyd intercepted that pass because that meant, uh, man, that guy is just what an incredible young man. And, and um, you know, I personally coach him. And just, just it was a whole bunch of guys, you know, Christian and Nick and V. I mean, V, 41st start today. Um, Cherry, Longino, man, to see how that guy's grown. Um, uh, obviously, all the guys I'm mentioning, most of those guys have already graduated from college, and man, I know we're going to live championship lives. I'm so grateful to them because, you know, it's a great time to be a Sun Devil. We've really, uh, we've, we've, uh, we didn't hit the mark where we wanted to this year, but uh, uh, that one heals you up quite a bit. Uh, I like that one. That was worth about five wins there. Uh, at least that's what the uh, all the fans say when I talk to them. So. Um, but these, this group of seniors has really laid a great foundation. And, uh, you know, we have a, we're going to have a brand new stadium here in a very short period of time, a new uh, sports complex. Shows unbelievable commitment to leadership here. Dr. Crow, Ray Anderson, we've got, it, we've got, man, we've got a chance to do some really special things. And so I'm just grateful for these seniors because I can't tell you how fragile uh, this has been for now going on four years. We've won a lot of close football games, and these guys have busted their butt and given me everything they've got, and I'm just really, really proud of them. Okay? Thanks, Tim. Right down in it. Tim usually puts something in it. Oh, we do that later. Questions? I love these guys, though, and I mean that. Go ahead. Devin obviously had a, a big impact today. Can you talk about what the – the adjustment process was like for him coming into this program, learning this offense? Uh, I, he would probably tell you if he was honest, it was pretty tough. Um, and I'll be real honest with you. Uh, I, I wasn't very uh, – it, it was something I, I had to be sold on. Uh, I, I've never done that. Um, you know, um, it's hard in, in that short a period of time to really, you know, um, understand how we do things. And I'm going to tell you, it was hard for him because – how we work and how we do things and the discipline and the structure and the rigor, not only on the field, but academically and everything that we do. 
Um, you know, he has been great. What a great kid. I mean, he has really been, I mean, uh, exceeded what I thought that that would be able to do in that short period of time because it's just so, you know, I mean, not that it's right or wrong, but it's just very different, you know, uh, how we operate and how we do things. And for someone to come in, it usually takes them a little while to get adjusted to kind of what we do. But I'm really proud of him. I think Mike, uh, I'm really proud of Burke. I mean, Burke, I think, had a lot to do with that. As a matter of fact, Burke, if not for Burke, I wouldn't have done it uh, because of their relationship. But uh, he, what he, he told me, he would, he'd make sure it got done right and it'd be transitioned. It was going to be a positive deal, and he did what he said he would do. And so really proud of him, proud of him today. I love sitting here listening to him talk. Uh, he's pretty nervous. But uh, I, I like that. It's good for those kids. All those kids need to do that, learn how to communicate and sit and do that. I think that's, that's pretty neat. But I'm really proud of Mike Berkovici and, and how he's led the team and uh, I got after him today for the first time. I hadn't, I hadn't gotten after him very often, but I got after him pretty good on, on a couple of, couple of plays. And uh, I liked how he responded. And, uh, man, I mean, I, I thought I, well, we had like 400 yards in the first half, uh, two 100-yard rushers. Um, I wish I could just show on the screen here my, uh, the huddle on the fourth down call. <laughs> Boy, I did not want to do that. <laughs> I was thinking about, man, I can't wait to read Doug's article and I don't make this. <laughs> I, if you, I, th I thought they were going, I thought they were going, going to say that because in the huddle, I told him, I said, you better dang sure make this thing. Because I, 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 at first I went, first I got, get the punt team. No, don't get the punt team. Get the punt team. Call timeout. Get the punt team. Uh, no, and then Coach Slogan said, Coach, the, 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 you know, the rules say punt it. We're playing good on defense. Punt it. And then V didn't say much, and those guys and Nick said, hey, run the ball, we'll get it. I said, well, you guys better make it. It'd be really neat to watch that, because I was, uh, did not, it was not, it, it wasn't a very, uh, I didn't look very professional, because I was really concerned about that, because that was really a uh, difficult call that we went back and forth on about seven times in about 20 seconds. But I knew it was gonna work the whole time. Coach, uh Demario obviously tried to stay in the game, had to come out after one more play. Any update on him and whether you might have him next week? Oh, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything yet. I, I, he, he's a tough kid. I, he should be okay. You mentioned this just a little bit earlier, but given everything that you guys have gone through this year, the ups and downs, the falling short of your goals, just how much did you guys Jeez, need this? Doug, a, give it. How much did you need this? We just won the Territorial Cup, go. <laughs> Golly. Give me a break, will you? Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. What were you saying? How much did you guys need this as a program? Oh, uh, yeah, it was pretty important. Bad. About as bad as you can need something. Uh, uh, you know, um, the old, the, the former players and the uh, uh, former coaches and, uh, you know, everybody, they let me know. You know how important this game is, and it's, and and and, uh, and it's personal to me. I mean, it's this game is uh, very personal to me, and um, you know uh, it's one that uh, we needed to win because um, and we need to win next week. We need to win the bowl game, and you know that is not still we have not reached our mark, but we're we're definitely um, headed towards it. So um, yeah, it 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 does a lot to to help you. This game is uh, I can tell you this. We won 10 games last year, and uh, we lost this game. Uh, we've won, uh, I don't know, seven games, six or so. Or next week would be, would be seven if we won a bowl game. Yeah, great. Whatever. So we've won six games. I feel better right now than I did last year. I, I, ever. I, don't, I, don't, I will never want to experience that again because that was not good. People are not very happy, and it's pretty miserable when you lose this game. Coach, what was Kareem's situation the last week and a half, and what kind of sparked the decision to put him in there? Kareem, uh, he he was hurt. He had an injury. He had a uh, um, uh, upper leg injury, and uh, he wasn't able to play. It, it happened in the mid part of the week, late in the week in practice, and he wasn't able to play. Really proud of Solomon Means. You know, Solomon got the start tonight. A corner never played free safety ever and uh, started there uh, at, at free safety. And so Kareem got well this week, and uh, so we, we played him in nickel 
you know, because Solomon is our starting nickel corner. And uh, to me, it was weird. I called, I was, I was going home because I was going like, man, because I was watching the receivers going, like, man, the receivers are really good. And uh, man, we got to have some speed. And um, man, I was, I was coming to work early and I was listening to some motivational stuff on the radio. And man, I just, I just said, man, you know what? This is Solomon's last game. He's one of the finest young men in the program, great character. I just called him and said, hey, you're going to start at free safety this week, man. It's going to be the best game of your life. And so I'm really proud of him. He's, a, he's someone that I wanted to mention. But uh, playing Kareem was just, uh, he was ready to go. Uh, we, we started Solomon because, uh, you know, Kareem wasn't able to practice the whole week. So um, that, that, that worked out good. Those guys, uh, Kareem Moore is going to be special. He's got special ball skills. I mean, he's got a knack for finding football. Really proud of Solomon, though. That was his first, I think maybe his first career start. And it was his last home game, so that's pretty cool. Played really well. You mentioned Mike earlier, and we know his story pretty well of sacrifice and commitment to this program. What are your emotions seeing him get this sort of payoff in this game? Yeah, I mean, I think that was big for him. Um, you know, I really believe this. Um, you know, every former player that I talk to, and obviously Coach Cush, um, you know, says, hey, let me tell you something. How you're measured, first and foremost, as a Sun Devil, did you get it done in that game? Period. Now, everything else past that is big. We have, we have our, our players, our former players, write messages about this game. We had one of the players that wrote the message about the 87 Rose Bowl and how, man, they won the championship, the conference championship, they won the Rose Bowl, but the one thing that they still have a bad taste in their mouth about is losing this game. And so, man, it's just so I – really, I really appreciate them doing that because the magnitude of this game is, is really, really big, not only to um, our players but to our fans and to everybody. And so forever, Mike Bercovici got it done. And so that's a big deal. And that's – you know, we, we didn't win the Pac-12 championship, but uh, uh, um, I have people tell me they'd rather win that than the Pac-12 championship. So – I'm not going to comment on that, but pretty dang important. I know that. I, I'd win both of them. Uh, you guys had four takeaways in Washington's last four possessions last week, and then this week in the fourth quarter you had two pick sixes. How big has forcing turnovers been in closing out games for you? Pretty big, man. I tell you, I was so infuriated um, because, you know, we had played so well, and, and, and I mean, we get a 90-yard curl route. What was that? I mean, how does that happen? I mean, how do you go the whole game and play like that and then give up that? And so I think they just do that to agitate me. And uh, so I was pretty agitated. Uh, but, um, you know, when you get them in that situation like that and you can tee off and then you kind of back them up and we got guys, you know, just really good athletes making plays. And so, uh, you know, you put a little pressure on quarterbacks and they'll throw it to you. So that, that was big. It was fun. It, it was exciting. Uh, you know, um, just, just having faith in our guys that we're going get to it, get it done and finish. And, man, I love finishing that way. I love those pick sixes for touchdowns. And, uh, yeah, I tell you what's interesting is, you know, I showed them every single turnover I think we've ever had in this game. Uh, and the last thing I showed them was Damaris Randall's pick six. I was saying, man, this is what you want to do. And I said, see, I slowed it down. I said, man, I wonder what that feels like right there. It feels pretty good. Now, it ain't much make you feel like that. So we had some good – I was really proud, man, especially uh, – when Lloyd uh, got his. Um, what did you see from either Arizona's defense or even your own guys that encouraged you to take those deep shots early in the game? You know, I mean, uh, Mike and the staff did a great job of, uh, I think, uh, preparing and planning. And, 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 and what, what happens is that we can run the ball. And when we're, when we're physical running the football, it, it, you got to load the box up to stop us. And, I mean, we run the ball and make six, seven yards and people got seven, eight guys in the box. And um, so that, that squeezed them down there, and we just found some things. And uh, he did a great job of uh, making the call, and guys did a great job of executing. But I think it had a lot to do with the, you know, us controlling the line of scrimmage and pounding and being physical. Todd, just wondering what it felt like going through that third quarter, some offensive struggles. They have the 95-yard touchdown that you talked about earlier, and then you responded with one of your longest drives of the season on offense and got a touchdown to put it up two scores. What was that 
that whole feeling like on the sidelines going through that third quarter after you had? Yeah, you know, it seems, uh, I don't know, I just, and I need to quit talking about it because I always tell them, like, hey, now, man, let's don't have a letdown, man. Let's don't have, I need to shut up. I think they, 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 I keep making us have a letdown because I, I don't know, I don't know, it, it was not, you know, I was concerned. Uh, even though I felt like we were under control because I didn't think that they could sustain drives and score. And because I didn't think they could run the ball. And so uh, if we didn't give up cheap ones in the air, I didn't think, I thought they were going to struggle. And then, and then I, you know, we should have, um, you know, what we do is, is pressure and play man. And uh, we should have, we, we made some bad calls, I thought, and we got a little conservative and stuff. But because uh, when, we, when we brought heat today, it, 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 was, it was hard for them. Thanks, everyone. All righty. Go Devils.